Hey, this is Skulls and Platt's Sleep Channel, and today I'm going to be sharing you how you can um, get your own theme. Um, as you may know, you see loads of people with different themes. Um, if, you notice, um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've got a new theme now. I used to have a Mac theme. Um, I got rid of it because I used to use a arcade launcher dock at the bottom, and I used to have like four different programs just to make it work and it kept slowing down my computer quite a bit so I've changed my theme now um, so I'm now using object dock or it doesn't use or run um, uh, um, and use up much memory in the background compared to arcade launcher and I've just got um, a normal theme and haven't got any add-ons like left side of buttons or a finder bar um, this is my theme and I'm going to show you how where you can get some and how you can put themes onto your computer um, Okay, um, for starters, you're going to need to download a program called Vista Glaze. This program literally allows you to um, literally um, edit your themes. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Um, I haven't got the link on me at the moment, but all you want to do is go to the link, download it, and set it all up. Once you've installed Vista Glaze, you'll have a desktop. Um, make sure you have an icon on your desktop here, if not, to search it up. If you open up Vista Glaze, um, like so. Um, this will pop up and what you do is you literally um, click on this button and you click here it says unpatch files and maybe quite hard to read it's black um, with, uh, and the button's black too but here it will say patch files but it says unpatch because I've already done them yeah it will say patch so you click on that and click on patch file this one right here will require you to reboot your computer so I recommend doing this after you've watched the whole video or saved the video now then go and do it. Um, once you've rebooted the computer and stuff and patched the files you should have a green shield next to that. Once you've done that you'll get there's this button right here or you just click on it and click on patch files. This allows you to style the um, MSSTYLE files as patch and then you can use your own, um, your own ones. Just click, just click patch. Um, there's no reboot needed for this one right here. Just patch it. Then you can just X off. Um, that program needs to be installed at all times. Um, before I might show you any more, um, if you have a big computer update, for example, um, if Windows has a big live update, if your Windows computer gets updated and then all of a sudden your theme turns back to that old grey theme, like the grey bars and stuff, I can't think of a. Um, before it was before the Windows XP, I can't think of the name of the um, computer type or model. Um, but if your theme looks like that, um, after you've done a Windows update, it's because they've updated it. So all you want to do is just repatch Vista Glaze. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, okay. Now I'm going to show you how you get your themes. Um, I will put some links in the description. But what you can do, you can just type in. Um, I'm using Windows Vista, so I can type in Windows Vista themes. Um, my favorite ones right here, these top two links, Windows Vista Skins and Themes. This is the one I use quite a lot. Um, there's some nice themes in here. Um, if I look, there's a theme here called Terminal Theme. I'm going to have a quick look at this. Um, if I click on Download Theme here, it'll take you to this Divine Art website. This is where I do all my browsing for all my um, themes. Um, this is a very nice website. You can just search up themes from there. This is a very nice website to get themes from. Um, some themes you may see have like different logos in the bottom there and all that. Um, sometimes some themes, when you install them, they don't actually have everything what you see in the preview picture. But once you've come to here, though, there's a download file, RAR download. You want to have WinRAR 7-zip. I might save it any way you like. I'm just going to save it. I'll quickly minimize. Um, what you do is then you open it up and it'll be, I've opened up in WinRAR and there's a folder called Terminal. If I open this up um, you will have to check this, yeah, there's like readme and all this stuff here. If I open up Terminal and um, what you want to do is you want to search through your files because not because that, that file isn't the theme. Um, it depends. Um, that and the theme. That one, that is a theme. This one's a theme and that's a theme and you can tell whether they're themes or not because if you see a folder um, if you open the folder up if it has en-us and shell and then it has um, the name of the folder then dot msstyles for um, style basically um, 
or if it has dot theme, so ma imagine it being terminal dot theme, that means it's a theme. Um, and all you got to do is get the folder you want. I'm just going to choose this one, terminal, um, and then I can minimize that. So I've got this now. And what you want to do is go to your start menu, go to my computer or computer, go to your hard disk or your hard drive, local disk, um, what mine is. Navigate down to Windows, and then you want to scroll down the folders until you find the folder called Resources. What's near the middle, um, depending on how size your, how big your window is. Click on Resources. There's a folder there called Themes. Click that. This only works for Windows, Vista, and below. Um, I don't. Um, I tried it on my mate's Windows 7, but it didn't work. So I'm very sorry for Windows 7 users. Just forgot to mention that. Here you can see I've got one theme already. And the theme I'm using right here is um, this theme right here. Um, this theme um, you can get that from the website I was just on, where I got my um, where I got this theme from right here. What you do is this theme, as you know, so I open up as the en en dash us and the shell folders and the um, terminal um, dot style basically um, in it. If I open up these, if you can see, it's exactly the same. It may have a wallpaper in there, maybe. Um, like this, that theme has a wallpaper. If I look at the impacts, this one hasn't, but look, you can see they're all the same. Um, do not, um, you can delete um, the ones you download, but do not delete Windows Classic theme, Aero theme, or Aero because they're like the default themes that come with your computer. Um, basically, what the patch is, it patches your Aero theme, and it doesn't do it for Windows 7 though. Um, what you do is when you get your folder you downloaded, just drop and drag it into there. Pop, if that pops up, just click OK put it in, then you have the folder in. What you want to do now is open up the folder and copy the um, terminal.msstyles um, um, into the themes folder where you put your terminal so then it looks a little like this and what you do is to set the theme just click on that and this will pop up. Um, this is my the impact theme um, and you have to scroll down there it is, see, you can see the theme right there. Um, they, they're they called Windows Air and Windows Basic. I don't know why they do that, that's the theme I'm using right now. Um, I don't know why they stay that named though. Um, but um, when you select them, I recommend selecting Windows Aero. Um, Windows Vista Basic, yeah, they may both look the same on that preview screen, but they are different. Um, sometimes they're just different in um, some text is different sometimes it could be these buttons up here what are different um, sometimes it could be text colors what are different um, it depends but there is always a difference between these two so you can check which one looks better but I'm gonna, I always select Windows Zero all you do is click apply um, you wouldn't have them ever there we go I've just applied it you can see I've got a little picture there I just minimized it oh god Minimize, oh no, where's the minimize button? No, it's a small little X as I crossed that off, whoops. Um, and look, see, I've got a little button, they themed it, if you right click, got all this. Um, it's really cool, if I, um, for example, if I open up this folder, um, it's added all this in. I've got a few themes here, um, this net, I've got an Xbox theme, but I don't normally use it. Um, it's really cool. You can get all your f um, and you can preview all your themes. It's quite cool. Um, this theme is actually quite cool. Actually, um, I may keep it. Um, but if you want to get rid of the theme, um, you can either if you want to change the theme for a new one, you can just go to resources again and change it. Um, if you want to change it back to default, just click Aero theme. Click on that and it will just set it back to Aero. I'm going to put it back to my other <coughs> sorry I'm going to put it back to my other theme ok um, all links will be in the description and um, if you want any of the um, themes that I've got I'll put the links in the description for them too um, ok um, thanks for watching Skulls and Platts Elite channel and see ya